See, angels of war now are assigned to territories. And one thing that you want to understand is, and Jackie, you wrote an awesome book on this that I want to encourage people over, is we're getting reclothed, like Carolyn said. New clothes. See, I listen so carefully to everybody that God brings in my path. We're getting a new armor right now for a new era. Put your hand on somebody and say, you're going to look good before this thing's over. (laughs) Now, you also want to remember this era is called a Passover era. Now, I did write a good book that will help us all the way through 2026. (laughs) Because (laughs) I haven't seen any further. Uh, and that's as far as I could write right now. And <clears throat> this angel of war has been under, we've been undergoing a, a remake. Jackie talked about it. There's 41 different counties present here. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I went to a meeting in, in Alabama And every county was present. They have divided the state up into 16 apostolic regions with apostolic centers. And then every tribe of first people that exist in Alabama were present. See, all of a sudden, we represent the kingdom. We're getting close to it here. Past, present, future, all in one place. See, that's how time works. When you hit a moment, it's the intersection of the past the present, and all of a sudden, you see into the future. See, when we leave here tonight, you'll be wearing a new horizon garment. You'll be seeing whether you even know what you're seeing or not. So, this season is like that. Now, This angel of war ordered our path. And let me just briefly tell you. What he said would happen was there would have to be a hardening, separation, and a sharpening so that he could draw the body out that represented the Lord. In other words, we were going to go through a division so we could become one. And he said, I'll be working on it. Well, I think that encourages me based upon the amount of division we feel in this nation. He then said, I am going to uh, sovereignly extend where wrong alignments have been made in the past, I'm going to give a window for that to be realigned. I think that's part of divine recovery right now. Where we've, people's made mistakes, they've drifted out of covenant, they've done stupid things. He said, I'm going to give a moment. It'll be a grace moment. And things will have grace to realign. I think that's this year. And then he said the very thing James got up here and said. He says, saints' eyes are going to be opened, and they're going, and this is what he called them. He said, there have been carry-on scavengers that have carried away portions of my covenant from territories, and I'm going to cause my people to see those things that have hurt covenant in their territory, and they're going to bring it back in place. (laughs) 
my bloodline. He then said, I'm going to form these new war councils. That's what we are. Look around, tell somebody next to you, you didn't know you were, you were part of that, but you are tonight. And these war councils are going to start getting these incredible prophetic revelatory understandings of how to redeem time. Eliana, I think you said something recently about uh, walks. That's Pam's favorite verse too. Walk circumspectly because you can redeem time. Well, that means get back. Now, this is what that word means in Hebrew and Greek. It means get back and look. Circumspectly means see the big circle. And then really look at it, and I'll give you a strategy over how to bring things that got out of time back into time. And he said, then... Once I've given that, the valley of decision is going to start coming to nation, to nation, to nation. God is looking at America. I can stand and tell you tonight we are at a valley of decision. And this area of America becomes one of the deciding issues. He said, I, I'm going to start sorting, and Clay, you said something sort of like this tonight, how people have sown so they can start gleaning. And then I'm going to move them from gleaning into reaping. And they don't need to despise the gleaning because that's, they're going to glean because they have to understand the boundaries of their territory. And if they will start gleaning in the very corners of those boundaries, before long they'll be reaping in the center. And then I'm going to show you the threshing floors in every state and show you their condition. See, if you really want to understand this year what it really looks like, and all you preachers out there, it's Gideon. It, it's going to be a year that all of a sudden, after seven years of the Midianites taking the harvest, God says, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to visit, and I'm going to start raising up the type of warriors that I need to stop this robbery. Yeah. 